G'day Vlad here, how's it going mate? So today I'm going to try to shine some light on a dispute I'm having on Reddit with some random Redditor about whether Petard Rush's work on Arena and you know about a thousand ELO and under he thinks that they shouldn't work, I think that they should. He's probably a much higher ELO player than me. He's probably a lot more skilled than me, and it probably doesn't work at whatever god tier level ELO he's at. But I know from experience it works at around and below a thousand ELO for sure. Often you have to adapt, sometimes you don't have to, and they just crumble through the pressure of early castle drops and petard blasts but anyway what I do is I put seven on food one on wood I send one to build two houses here then shift click him to lure the boar I put four more on wood so I've got five on wood total hunt this boar finish wrapping up the decaying meat get the second boar then I go seven bills on deer and then I go three bills on stone bump this up to eight woodcutters in total make sure I've got three stone cutters in total and the rest are on food until 28 pop once I hit 28 pop I research feudal age and I queue one villager and loom and then as soon as I hit feudal age I build a lumber sorry not a lumber camp a blacksmith and a market and I go up straight away when I reach about halfway through castle age I send my fuels to do the castle drop and that should arrive at about 16 minutes I'm building the castle boom okay he hit castle age at about the same time it looks like he's gone a similar type of deal he's built his two buildings to get up to castle age so the way he's reacted to my castle drop is with a defensive wall which was an okay move and he's getting enough stone for a castle which probably is why he didn't build a second TC whereas I did get the second TC I didn't have to build a defensive castle so I planned for that with the amount of stone I got I got 750 stone instead of 650 he's walling off I'm building second castle and I don't actually see um, what's going on in space but my plan is he probably thinks I'm a dumbass because I built a castle directly in line here when I could have built it here and put him under more pressure but the reason I built it there was so my petards have like a straight course right into the center of their base my goal is to take out this TC um, I probably won't do it as fast as I want to but he sees this castle here with a flag on top he might think it's all box he might think there's one or two petards depending on how much he's looking here and not at his eco see my big mistake my big mistake I hesitated my petards I walked him right through that castle fire because I didn't see the castle and instead I sent my petards to do their work and then I focused down here on my eco <laughs> where I should have walked them around the castle fire and into his TC. One more petard would have blown his TC. And in fact, if it wasn't a Persian TC, that TC would be Gonski. <laughs> but it is a Persian TC, unfortunately, and he can still create veals. Well, if you look over here, I'm creating two veals at a time and two petards. He's sort of creating veals, but not as much as me. He's not keeping his TC going, he's building knights. And I'm building a third castle, just so I've got that extra space here, and I can shoot down the walls faster. And also, if I need to adapt later in the game, it just takes more time to kill that castle if he wants to kill my castles on the way down to my base. You wouldn't be smart, but at this ELO, players always try to almost always try to clear out the castles before they attack your main base so we'll just have a quick look I'm on 69 pop what a beautiful number and he is on 52 pop with a much worse eco than mine 
so I might have used up more resources in fact I think I've got more resources anyway I do so I've used more resources I've got more resources and the resources are coming in faster he's building his third TC I've already got one two three four TC's I'm pumping four veals at a time and petards he's pumping two veals at a time I'm nowhere near Imperial Age and he is nowhere near Imperial Age. In fact, he doesn't really have enough food. So we'll switch back here. See what's happening at the castle. I've got a lot of petards. I should have already taken out that castle. I don't know why I'm delaying it. There we go. Castle goes down. What does that do? It houses him, so he's 64 pop, 60 population space. And even though he's got about 10 knights there. Ooh, I forgot. There we go. See, I thought his um, TC was completely healed at this stage. Because from my screen, it looks like he's repaired his TC. If I didn't know that, I would have just sent one petard and killed it off. So I build up a few more petards. And I send him. He's got nine knights. But nine knights does not save his TC. So he's back down to two TCs. He's not building veals. He's researching his military upgrades. <laughs> and he's, you know not doing too well that's his eco that's my eco and i'm trying to get some tcs outside of the base so if he goes into the base if he wants to get to this eco here you have to go all the way up and around and i'm trying to build eco here too so i'm anticipating that he'll break into my base do some raids and i don't want to have to worry too much about that i just want to mop him up at the end of it his base is nice and open too, so I don't really care too much if he gets in there. It's not about efficiency at this stage, it's just about sending crap at him, keeping him busy and not letting him get back into the game. So I've just hit Imperial, he's researching Imperial. I've got some Trebs. The trebs weren't very successful from memory. There we go. So he's got a couple batards ready, and he's got these knights here. He's going to do a lot of damage, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. So he comes in with his petards, he comes in with his knights. He does a metric crap ton of damage, just spreading free out, killing all the villagers. I'm not sure if he realizes it, but I'm creating five villas at a time. So it's not as costly as he thinks. I'm printing out Wing Tessar, he's printing out knights. I'm going to mix some cavalier in later. But Wing Tessar, they stack up okay against knights and cavalier but as soon as the opposition gets a lot of paladin poles don't really have a good answer to that here he is he's doing a lot of damage i'm expanding my eco there i'm expanding my eco there i'm pumping enough units just to keep his units busy so he doesn't totally kill me over here he's massing more units where i'm just sort of sending him in slowly here we go. So he's got the Cavalier. And they're up against my Wing Hussar. Similar upgrades. I don't mind losing Hussar because it's just food. He's losing his gold even though he's winning the fight. And I'm expanding my eco. Five wheels being printed at a time. He isn't printing wheels. So I just want to make sure he doesn't mass his units too much. I don't care if I lose mine. 
If I can stop him from having a big mass of paladins, that's a win for me. His wall is still wide open, easy to raid. Looking back, I should be raiding right now, but I'm a 1000 elo player, so... <laughs> I don't take all my opportunities, my brain's all over the place, I look at one part of the map at a time. I hardly have any micro, I use the patrol all military units buttons <laughs> to keep things simple. And I'm starting to mass, not mass sorry, I'm starting to get my military units up and my villagers up and I just keep producing, keep producing. And eventually this battle will swing into my favour. And I think that's the swing there. I think that's the point of my little snowball starting to happen. So I'm on 176 pop and growing. He is on about 110 pop. And now I'm starting to raid and that is not looking good for him. He's rung his town bell, that's practically GG, because if your villagers are hiding in their town, they're not collecting resources, he's not defending his villagers, he's not creating any villagers. If you're losing villagers, you've got to be creating villagers. And at 74 pop, there's no coming back. And he realises it. GG, thanks for playing Kakai. If you've been watching, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.